Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, well, who would have known? The Russian Minister, Minister of Defense, Sergei Shoigu, has a military uh, private company. <laughs> I didn't know that. Do you, did you? Now you do. If you didn't, if you knew, good for you. So let's see what the hell is going on here. I didn't know that, Shoigu. It's not like a surprise that I could not think of. I didn't uh, hear about it, but hey, maybe that's why he's not taken out and by Putin. <laughs> oh my, let's see. Ukrainska pravda. Remember, put your uh, uh, Ukrainian um, uh, glasses. It's from uh, December 28, 2022. Shoigu deploys his private military company, which competes with Wagner Group, to war against Ukraine. Mm, okay. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu's Patriot Private Military Company, PMC, which is competing with Yevgeny Prigozhin's Wagner PMC, has been spotted near Vuk Vukhledar in Donetsk Oblast. Okay, nothing wrong with that. And I'm quoting. Actually, no, the, the source is Serhi Cherevati spokesman for the Eastern Group of the Armed Forces of Ukraine during the National Joint 24-7 newscast. Uh, that you should translate it as continuous military and government uh, uh, propaganda. That's why the 24-7. They inform you what the situation is on the front. That means if you watch that 24-7, you find the truth. Quote, in particular, in the area of Stepne, on the Vukhledar front, we have noticed that in addition to Wagner PMC, Patriot PMC, affiliated with the current Russian Defense Minister Shoigu, has appeared. Just like this. Like the mushrooms after rain. <laughs> Obviously, they are pulling up all combat capabilities to achieve at least some results. End quote. No, it's not that, but that's their job. That's an opportunity. What are you talking about? It's like you say, well, after a hurricane in Florida, uh, a lot of companies, uh, roofing companies, uh, came out, you know. Uh, yeah, because that was a, uh, you know, some damages caused by the big winds and all that. And it's normal that that's how a roofing company makes its money. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So they just appeared because they thought that's, what the hell? That's how they make their money. <laughs> what do you want? It's unbelievable. All right. So they just appeared. Obviously, they are pulling up all combat capabilities. It's not pulling up all. They, they, I think they were, should have been over there from the first day. That's how. That's the opportunity. What are you talking about? Unbelievable. Now, details. Cerevati commenting on rumors of a conflict between Evgeny Prigozhin's Wagner PMC and Sergei Shoigu. Patri uh, Patriot PMC. He called them competitive. Well, that's good. Competition is always good because you provide better services for lower uh, my, uh, amount of money. That's not communism, okay? Communism is only one, has a monopoly, and that's the government because the government is the good guy. All right, so that's how the story goes. So competition is always good. The problem is we have only two. Like you have the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, but we have the same source, the same parents. You know, which is the money campaign donors. Oh, let's call them that way. <laughs> if you would do that, hey, judge, here's some money for you. I just, uh, I'm just going to provide you with some campaign donation. That would be called what? Bribe? Right? No, no. Corruption? Nah. This is legal corruption. <laughs> anyway, man, this guy, well, the system works. Well, if you, if you need a, a few... Uh, hundred million dollars just to be a candidate for a seat over there. You can imagine that it's not really about, uh, well, if people want to uh, donate, what's your problem, Emil? Nothing, I'm just saying, you know, just just talking, all right? Get it, let's move on. At the same time, they are in different theaters of war. In his opinion, there is no direct interaction between them. <laughs> Where should it be? Background, in November, the Ukrainian resistance reported that Yevgeny Prigozhin, the founder of the Wagner PMC, is strengthening his positions in, in position in Russia and wants to pun, pu, punish Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu for the defeats of the Russian forces on the battlefield in Ukraine. This is like you would say, uh, let's say, the <coughs> former 
Blackwater military company, the private military company in the United States of America, which was the first I heard of in Iraq. So those guys are way ahead of everybody else, you know. And uh, those will tell the, I don't know, uh, the defense minister here, the Pentagon chief, hey, be careful, uh, we're gonna fight, we're gonna, I'm gonna take care of you. What the fuck are you talking about? You're a few hundred of thousands of uh, you know, personnel talking about with the army? What the hell are you talking about? So the same, these guys try to make us believe that Prigozhin is kind of like he's going to take on Shoigu. Shoigu is a defense minister, you know what it is? Who the fuck wrote this one? Oh, it's an Ukrainska Pravda. We don't have a weasel name anyway. So, you know, let's let's think about it. A private company is going to, it's like, oh, the this is the bullshit they tell us here. Oh, we, the American people, citizens, we, we have bear and uh, carry arms and own uh, guns and all that so we can defend ourselves from the government. That means if the government uh, becomes t tyrannical, we have uh, to do something now. Those guys have the military, the Pentagon. Do you think that the military with a budget of 850 b -b 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 billion dollars is going to take on my two or three or four or five, whatever I have, pistols, uh, revolvers, and uh, uh, or maybe pum, 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 pum? Really? It is a joke. But anyway, they led us to feel good. Yeah, I'm, yeah man, I'm important. You're bullshit. If they want to take, take you out, they take you out with one Hiroshima or Nagasaki, if you know what I mean. And they would not flinch. Anyway, so this is what uh, these guys think. Oh, punish. How are you going to punish, punish the army? Defense minister. The National uh, Resistance, uh, Resistance Center reports that Prigozhin blames Shoigu and Valery Gerasimov, the chief of the general staff of Russian armed forces, for the failures on the front. Okay, you can blame them, but uh, it seems like now you are getting the opportunity because supposedly there are two main axes. One is Prigozhin with another guy, general, I can't remember, military general uh, affiliated with uh, the Russian army, right? And then uh, the other one is Sergei Shoigu, the defense minister, plus another general, Gerasimov. And supposedly <coughs> Putin appointed now one general from the, what's his name, Prigozhin's uh, axis versus Shoigu, which Shoigu was in charge. Well. The fact that you are appointed, and it's not uh, Prigozhin who was appointed, but the general that fights on this front, the general is in charge, not Prigozhin. Prigozhin is just, yes sir, to this general, and the general is the military guy. Uh, the fact that someone appointed that tells you that that someone is in charge, not Prigozhin. Prigozhin is still a yes sir, and he can be taken care of like uh, Hitler took care of his uh, what, uh, SA troops and the, the chief. One day, remember that one? And what did Hitler? Uh, what did he do after that? He went and took a bath, right? And then he said, "Well, I hate to take a bath, and I feel clean now." After he cut the head off, remember? He found I can't remember his name right now. The chief of his SA, SA that was challenging the military. He, Hitler needed the military, and uh, SA wanted to kind of like challenge that. So he had we're gonna take care of this guy. We get the military, and then fuck off. You're gonna be, you know, the second tier. And uh, they found uh, the chief of the SA. Where was the chief of the SA? In a homosexual act, they caught him. <laughs> right when he was like uh, enjoying uh, whatever he was enjoying. He was, and that was very, very bad for uh, the Nazi ideology to see them in that act. They picked him up from, from his bed. And then I think he, boom, boom, committed suicide. He was allowed to, or he's in, in, uh, in uh, I think that's how it was. I don't even know if he was... Uh, Anyway, unimportant there. We're just a, 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 a sideline. So we have these guys that can be decapitated by the guys who are really in charge or seem to be in a second. So Prigozhin, if Putin wants Prigozhin to go, Prigozhin goes yesterday, not tomorrow, yesterday. So, mm -mm -mm. but if Prigozhin wants Putin gone, it's not happening. At least not under the current circumstances. But anyway, they, as, of, as of now, they are fighting the same war. So I don't know why... Uh, do you think the ego will play a part? Um, I'm assuming that Prigozhin is not satisfied and with his position, current position, which is, I think, is a fantastic position in the circle of power in Putin's. I mean, he's, after all, a private guy over there. You know what I mean? He's not even in government. So uh, there are a lot of propaganda that he likes to challenge Putin. Just do that and see what happens. Uh, thank you very much for being with me again today.
Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.